Hi, Miss Magnolia. How's the new school year going? Fine. Not fine. All they do is look at their phone and create amazing dishes. Like they're all trying to be on MasterChef Junior. They probably are. You should see some of the stuff the children at Mesa Kids make. It's astounding. Instead of an apple, this boy named Samir brought me a hot beef Wellington. Medium rare, flaky, handmade pastry, silky mushroom pate, and a croque bouche filled with fresh macarons. Perfect. Perfect macarons. He's five. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've tried to make macarons and failed horribly? Preach. <laughs> All I want to do is teach them about why leaves change color in the fall. But I can't seem to get their attention without talking about food. It's not like I can feed them acorns. Yes, you can. And some oak leaves to boot. You could even make them together during class. What? Super simple. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Fall is my favorite time of the year, so I am very excited to share a couple special treat ideas with you today. Both items are easy to make with children as young as toddlers, but they're just as fun for adults to prepare. Let's start with the acorns. You need four simple ingredients. Hershey's Kisses, mini nut or butter cookies, chocolate chips, icing. To begin, fasten the cookies to the kisses with a bit of icing. Allow those to rest for a few minutes so the icing can firm up. Add a tiny drop of icing to the tops of the acorns and finish with a chocolate chip. You can use any flavor of Hershey's Kiss or any type of chocolate chip, including peanut butter or caramel. Gold Kisses and Almond Kisses are my two favorites to use with salted caramel chocolate chips and chocolate icing. Now, since acorns come from oak trees, it's only right to make some leaves too. These are shortbread cookies using my simple recipe and they are so much fun to prepare. Here's what you'll need for the shortbread. One cup all-purpose flour, four ounces unsalted European butter, one eighth teaspoon salt, one quarter cup powdered sugar, and a generous quarter teaspoon gel food coloring. Mix on low until crumbly, about 30 seconds, then turn the mixer up to medium and simply combine until a dough forms. Use your hands to shape it into a soft ball. It will feel and look just like Play-Doh. To make the shortbread, simply prepare this recipe four times, coloring each batch a different shade. Once you have all four colors, lay out a sheet of parchment paper and begin to pinch off large pieces of dough, dropping them into a colorful formation. Lay another sheet of parchment over the top and gently roll the dough out into a one quarter inch thick, even layer, transfer directly onto a clean cookie sheet. Remove the top layer of parchment, punch out leaves, and carefully remove the excess dough. Bake the cookies at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the surfaces have a matte finish and no longer look wet or glossy. Allow to cool, then decorate or leave them just as they are. This recipe will make two to three sheets of cookies. As this is a classic shortbread, it's crumbly, not too sweet, and perfect with hot tea on a crisp fall day. Simple, elegant, and no one has to know how easy it was.